Okay, so here we are in section 2.9. Uh, it's all about named constants. Uh, but before we get to that, I want to back up two slides because at the end of section 2.8, uh, Tony Gattis talks about magic numbers, and I wanted to tie that into this section. So I'm going to back up two slides and stop right here and take a look at the definition of magic numbers. So something that uh, is a number that appears, unexplained numeric value that appears in a program's code. So for example, if you see this statement and as you're going through, uh, so amount equals balance times 0 0.0875, what is this? Okay, so this is the piece that we're talking about. I'm going to make that yellow because, you know, I like to play with that. Uh, and so wh what exactly is this is this number? And um, and so so this, you see some of these little questions here. So what is the value? Is it an interest rate? Uh, you know, sales tax rate, uh, fee percentage, all these kind of things. Only the person that wrote the code knows for sure. So when you are coding, stay away from magic numbers. Okay, so just, a, you know, a few things. Uh, on this difficult to determine the purpose you don't know what it is if you're walking through and looking at this okay uh, if it's used in multiple places in the program it takes a lot of effort to change it and you can skip one you know maybe you have it listed in three places and you change it in two of them and and you go oh you know you don't even notice maybe it causes a logic error so uh you know that that's that's a, a major issue for you too right so and as you're typing it in each time uh maybe you meant to type 0 0.073, but instead you type 0 0.0073. So that is going to cause a nice little logic error for you. Uh, can be difficult to find. You may never find it. You may just get incorrect data, uh, and you know you may you may not know that until someone uh, goes, "Hey, wait a second, this doesn't look just right." And uh, so anyway, so we're avoiding that. So magic numbers. So what would you do instead of using a magic number? Well, we are going to use something called a constant. And so the 2.9 section, it's a short little section, but very important for things like this. So let's take a look at this. Instead of having this piece up here, we said, you know, this number right here, this kind of a thing. Instead, we're going to use a named constant to define it at one place in the code. And typically it's at the very top, uh, very top of the program uh, where you're going to pull this. And you notice, because we always do, uh, lowercase, right? So uh, as we're as we're doing our variable names, notice this is all in uppercase, with our words separated by the underline, right? So um, as you come down here and you write these things, so here we go. I mean, this is the same number as what I used, point zero eight seven five before, but you get the idea, right? So um, now we're saying we want to set this equal to this, so that then we're writing this statement out. We're referring to and. At, at, you'll notice this uh, there's reasons why we do things if you see all caps in code that is a constant okay now python doesn't have a true constant uh but we simulate it by using all caps okay and uh we're going to do this on on several different things i'll show you in a program here in just uh, just a second but the reason why we do this well some of the reasons some of the advantages let's take a look um you know, name constants makes it self-explanatory. So you can see what it's, what it's supposed to be. Um, you're, you're able to maintain the code easier. So you can change it in that constant location. Uh, helps prevent different errors, you know, as you have different numbers out and all that kind of good stuff, right? So if you have this listed at the top of your code, uh, where you're doing some other variable definitions or, or other things, uh, you know this is a constant. So that if this rate does change, uh, so maybe this does go to the, you know, point whatever it is point uh what did i say before point eight seven five i can't remember point zero eight seven five uh you change it in one spot in the code and then you've used the variable name to refer to that everywhere else so that it updates the whole program okay so it's very very important so don't have magic numbers use name constants for this stuff and it will help you so one example that you'll see uh with this is with the land calculation program so with this particular program you can see on here it talks about uh, and, you know, one acre of land is equivalent to 43,560 square feet. This number is not going to change. Okay. That is a constant. Okay. So we can use it as a constant uh, in this program. And you see there's a hint for how to, how to do this. But to define this constant at the top of the, uh, top of the program, I'm going to go all caps and have some kind of variable name like this. Maybe not exactly like this, but, but some kind of descriptive variable name here. And I'm going to set it equal to this. 
So 43560 notice, I know it's obnoxious, sorry, but don't use a comma. Uh, so you don't put the comma in there. Uh, and then I put a little uh, inline comment here. So hashtag constant, obviously, but you'll get the hang of it once you uh, do this a little bit. Uh, but this is a perfect example of a constant, okay? Uh, another example of a constant that you could use is something like, like I said before, like a sales tax rate, okay? So get in the habit of using this. It's just good coding practice. So you don't end up with magic numbers. You don't end up with, you know, these kinds of things where someone else looks at your code and goes, what is this? <laughs> we, like, we have no idea. Um, or even worse, uh, you refer to this several places in, in your code and you forget to change it and all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, so that's the deal. So magic numbers, uh, named constants, get in the habit of using them, especially, I mean, go ahead and use it for this very first program that you're going to do uh, after this, the land calc program and uh, get your answer. But get this, get this line in there or something similar to this so that um, you can practice using constants. Okay.